Tyson. Down by the beach, we are willing to follow faded footprints of memories resting in the sand that we all want back. They slack sideways with no lack of emotional commitment. It's taxing, and the subtraction's traction on your heartstrings trap you in a cast of backtracking, and it's distracting because it is hard to stop loving the ocean. Even after the lips of your toe tips kiss the breaking waves, it leaves you gasping, feet cold, drowning in the newfound quicksand like another's arms. It's not your fault because it is hard to stop loving the ocean. Even after you engulf your body in its hug snug fit beneath your jawline and between your armpits, its thunderous force crashes into you, holding you under the somber curves of its surface. A violent, merciful wonder for your only ever treading in 175 centimeters of brown eyes, brown hair, and water weight. It's hard to stop loving the ocean. Even after it has blessed you of your sins, you cringe at the current that floods your navel cavity. Is this a kind of love or has the ocean driven us to insanity? Forgive yourself for the mistakes that you've made and the mistakes that you made that you still call mistakes. And the fact is, understand it takes a long, long time for it to happen so fast. Realizing your future can be someone else's past. Happy pacified. Happy pacified.